Dear Quincy, Akala ng mga tao na nasa Pilipinas kapag nasa Canada ka, mayaman ka na, marami ka ng pera. Ang totoo, marami kang utang. Ang dali kasi mag-swipe. Paggamit ng credit card sa Canada is mandatory because you need to have a credit history. If you don't have a credit card, then that means you don't have the capacity to pay. Akala nila milyonaryo ka na kasi ang ganda ng bahay mo. Ang totoo, your house would take you 25 to 30 years to pay off completely. Akala nila mayaman ka na kasi may fancy car ka. Ang totoo, kailangan mo lang bumili, kundi maglalakad ka ng mila-mila o di kayo magtitiis ka sa lamig. Kakaantay ng bus. Walang jeepney, tricycle o padjak sa Canada. And your brand new car would take you 5 to 7 years to pay off. Kala nila, masarap ang buhay dito sa Canada. Ang totoo, puro ka trabaho. Kasi pag ka ng trabaho, hanging out and chit-chatting with your neighbors ay napakalaki yung posible. Because they too are busy with their own work to pay for their own bills. Actually, si Judith na lang lagi ko nakakausap. Judith sa credit card. Judith sa ilaw. Judith sa tubig. Judith sa telepono. At kung sino kapang kakamba ni Judith. Akala nila masaya ka kasi pa niya yung post mo na sa social media na picture mo na nasa Niagara Falls at Wonderland of Canada. Ang totoo, you need to smile kasi nabahit ka ng 100 plus dollars para lang makarating doon. And you need to work like a dog again to recover the amount you paid for your ticket. Akala nila malaka na yung kinikita mo kasi doon na yung sinasweldo mo. Ang totoo, hindi nila naiisip na you are also spending dollars here in Canada. It's always a huge sacrifice to leave your home country to work abroad. Imagine the agony of being separated to your loved ones. Because the reality is, you won't see money lying in the streets. You have to work for it. I'm not shattering your perception of how beautiful and splendid it is to live in Canada. But as harsh as it may be, that is the reality of life in Canada.